Hello, with me today, I'm lucky to have John Mayer, mining analyst at Broker SP Angel. John, when we asked you 12 months ago for your favourite large cap miner in 2020, you said Rio Tinto. As the numbers stand, Rio outperformed BHP, Anglo American and Glencore. Um, well done. Um, regular viewers will remember you also called it right in 2019. So to make it three in a row, who are you backing in 2021? <laughs> It'd be lovely to make it three in a row. Um... I'm thinking that, well, because there's so much more interest in the base metals, in the electric vehicle metals, um, it's got to be a, a, it's a, it, it, it's a balance between Glencore, which has already started to run, I notice, or Antofagasta. Now, Antofagasta is a, a pure copper producer. It has a little bit of uh, molybdenum that comes out, but it's essentially it's, it's 95% copper. So, um, it's a very good quality company run out of not run out of Chile produces a great dividend from an investment perspective uh, and and pretty well run so uh, I think and forget I mean it really is difficult to choose between the two we know that in the big investment funds are very keen to buy more copper uh, we know it's a good commodity um, we would be recommending first quantum minerals but it's not listed in the UK anymore uh, so I think and is is the big counter to play if you want a bit more, bit more, if you've got a bit more risk appetite, I would go for Glencore because I think there's there's huge improvement to to be made there, and I think there's there's um, there's great exposure to many of the underlying materials that that the world really needs to feed the gigafactories, and more to the point, to feed the uh, the the in electrical infrastructure that's going to be required to power all these cars. Now, which of the metals do you think will do best in 2021? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. I mean, it's it's going to be between lithium, uh, nickel or tin, in my view. Um, tin is very interesting because you require tin for, for just about every uh, electrical connection there is one way or another. Uh, nickel is, is essential because whether you're using fuel cells uh, or or batteries, nickel is always the current collector because it's it's a it's it's cheap enough to use in these sorts of products but it's robust enough to stand up to the the harsh environment in the electrochemical cell whether that's a fuel cell or a, or a battery cell so i think nickel is going to have a, a good run i think the reason i would talk about lithium is because the prices are very low and i i can only see lithium prices going higher from here um we could look at, at other components the uh, graphite or the manganese but I think it's it's really between these the, these two, lithium or nickel. And I think given that lithium is still at, at such a low level, that's probably where I would go right now. John, has gold had its day, um, especially if we have a global vaccination program and some economic recovery through the year? I think gold is, is likely to track sideways. It's possible there may be some further financial shocks to come out of the the, the, the sort of slightly recessionary, well, the recessionary environment that we're in. I mean, it's difficult to know exactly where the where, where economic figures are going from month to month at the moment. But um, if there are if there are any big businesses that go bust, let's say in South Korea, where where Hyundai have just had to, had a big recall of electric vehicles and and household electric uh, household grids um, sort of storage lithium storage packs. And that was caused by substandard um, battery cells made by LG Chem. So if you had one of these companies suddenly going down, it could precipitate more of a crisis. And then we could end up with another emerging market uh, debt crisis rerun, in which case gold would do very well. So I, look, I think there's a case for holding gold because it, it gives you some protection against that sort of supply, that sort of economic shock. Um, but otherwise, it's likely to track sideways. 